Good afternoon, plastic balloon. This is your boy Mikey Bustos. What are you looking at me strange because I'm a team? Too bad, Pinoy ako. And I can always call Dr. Bello later. Speaking of strange, it is said that the lost mystical civilization of Lemuria used to exist where Philippines exist today. That is why many feel that Filipinos have not forgotten the existence of all these strange mystical creatures of today's most common fairy tales. Ladies and gentlemen, this tutorial is about the wonderful, fascinating world of Filipino mythical creatures. When I was small, my parents used to warn me about Mumu. Uh, I never really knew what the Mumu looked like or what he really was. But judging from the gravity and tone of my parents' voice, I could tell the Mumu was very scary. Sige, Michael, there's Mumu there. Hi! Hello! Sige, there's Mumu there. Sige! Ah! <laughs> oh, hello! Sige, go! Go, there's Mumu there. Sige! Go! Mm, mommy, why do you tell me to go there? There's Mumu there! <laughs> I began to keep a checklist of where in my house there was Mumu and it pretty much just left my bedroom and the toilet bowl as the only two places that were safe and Mumu free. Why was that? I used to love Halloween because every year I had the most unique costume of my whole class. Okay boys and girls listen up. Each one of you has to stand up in front of the class and tell everyone what you are for Halloween and a fact about your costume. Keisha? Sha teacher, me a cardiologist, me a help you out with your blood clot. All right, Miss Rebecca Black, it's your turn. I'm a calendar, and I tell what day comes after Friday. Thank you, Miss Black. Now, Mr. McCormick. My mom couldn't afford a costume because of the house fire this year, so I had to make my own. I'm a used tray at McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Mikey, what are you for Halloween? A vampire bat? No, a swan. Oh, a swan. <laughs> no, I'm not a swan. A swan! And I will piss on your unborn baby straight from your fetus for breakfast. Mr. Bustos, to the principal's office now! What? It's true! Watching Disney films as an educated Pinoy kid, it was always a very confusing experience. For instance, I went into the cinema thinking that the Disney's The Little Mermaid was a horror movie, my god. <laughs> Mikey, are you okay? No! Prince Eric, no! Don't touch her, she is mermaid! Hey kid! Pipe it down! My kid's trying to watch the movie down here! Be quiet! You don't know what you are talking about? You are like ignoramus? Do not you know I have a cousin who died because of mermaid? Yeah. Filipinos also believe in the existence of duende. A kind of like dwarf that can bring you good fortune. <laughs> or bring you bad fortune. <laughs> and punish you with curses if they don't like you. So, as a kid, while I was watching the Disney Snow White, my god, I was so nervous. <laughs> Prank, can you believe this Snow White? She is crazy. Is she out of her mind? She's in the house of the duende. But they're friendly. To clean up all things, my goodness. May duende Jan. Duende? The last time I visited Tugegerao, I was introduced to the Chesa tree where apparently a whole family of duende live. My titas told me that and I was afraid. Me and Prang even made a wreath out of sticks, sabong feathers and leaves and put it at the foot of the tree as a gift. Hello. Hi. My name is Michael. This is Prank. Here, Mikey, put this. It's a bigger feather. And me and my friend Prank, we made this for you as a gift. Okay. Tabi tabi po. Michael, what are you two doing? 
My mom did not believe. Mommy, there's a family of duende that lives here. In the Chesa tree. <laughs> duende? I don't believe that. We made them a gift. I don't believe that. Bilis, Michael! We have to go to Chow King. You have to sing for your titas and titos. Come on! Let's go! Bilis! But... Ako, but, one, two, ah, three, five. Turns out, that day, my mom mysteriously contracted bronchitis for the rest of the trip in Philippines. <coughs> in fact, certain trees and landmarks attract all sorts of creatures and ghosts. One particular street in Manila is named after the kind of trees that line the street edge. And it is known for one of Filipinos' most terrifying tales. Turn left on Palete Drive. Thank God for GPS. I'd never be able to find your Tita's house in this darkness. Tell me about it. I don't know why there is no... <laughs> wow, looks like someone's sleepwalking. Frank. What? Pull over. Right now. Mikey? We can't pick up hitchhikers, that's dangerous. Frank, you don't understand. Pull over right now. Wow. All right. Hi there, miss. I'm Frank, and this is Mikey. Hello. Where do you want to go? Bye, mom. Where? Frank, just drive! It was like she had no pace. She looked like the girl from the movie The Ring. I tried my best to break the silence and initiate conversation. So, lady in white, did you manage to watch Bruno Mars in concert when he was here a few weeks ago? There was no response, just her breathing. Mikey, where are we going? Lady? Is it okay if we drop you two blocks from here? That is where I live. Right, Prang? Well, no, the GPS says your Tito lives... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two blocks later, we attempted to drop her off. Okay. Here we are. At my house. Hello? Hello? Is he? Is he? Ça c'est mon maison. Merci, merci beaucoup. What? I really needed that sleep. Too much San Miguel. Huh? <laughs> My name is Madame Encarnacion. That's I am cool. French. Huh? I married a Filipino and I am now here in Manila. Merci, mes amis, for taking me to I my house. I wanted to go to France. French? But did you not just ask me to bring you to my house? Oh no, I said my house. Bahai mo. You see, in French, mo means my. I'm still trying to learn Tagalog. So meanwhile, I speak Fregalog. Fregalog dialogue pala? So you mean you are not the white lady? Bye. Bye, miss. But Mikey, she is white. She's from France. Prank, I'll tell you about it on our way to my tita's house. Now go. Let's go. Follow GPS. Okay. Recalculating. You turn, then turn right on Palete Drive. We Filipinos know that witches do exist. When I was in Philippines and my relatives wanted to buy a goat, i.e. kambing, it was exciting, pero it was an experience I would never forget. Guys, I can't believe I'm going to eat kambing with you all. Maraming salamat. So, where's the grocery? Michael, we are not going to grocery. This is to Gegerao. We're going to a farm and you will pick the goat. Oh. They were starting to act fishy. But Michael, take this. Keep it in your pocket. What is this? And sandali, ah. 
Mm. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Oil? Holy oil. Tita, what is that for? Protection. Protection from what? Ah! Ano ba yan? Water? It is H2O. L-Y. Holy water. For protection also. Protection from what? Michael, this is serious. We are protecting you from witches. Oh. Obviously, I was petrified. Apparently, in this town where we were going to buy the kambing, there was witches that could harm me. Can you believe that? And I was told not to talk to anyone just in case. And you bet your bottom peso that I followed that instruction to the T. When we finally arrived in the farm, I felt like I was in Filipino Blair Witch Project, my goodness. I did not talk to anyone. And I usually observe my Pinoy manners for the elderly. But not this time. Michael, aren't you going to bless to your Lola Medi? She is like our Lola. Come here, anak. Don't be shy. Aba? So, the next time you hear about a mythical creature, just remember that we Filipinos know that the truth is out there. Love you much, Sasquatch. Goodbye, Octopi. We're so scared. We've been traveling all day, and we've been making circles in the woods. We don't know what to do. The witch is gonna Nako, kill us. It is not witch. That is capre. So scared. All you have to do is wear your shirt inside out, and you will be free. We're so scared. The answer is so simple. What is that noise? Hindi pinoy kasi. Trust me, prank. I know about this. Excuse me, sir. Hello. We'll be landing in about three hours. Would you like some tea or coffee? And I! A swang! And I will piss on your unborn baby straight from your pitos for breakfast. What? It's true!